Hello friends, welcome to another video on the channel. Just over a week ago, tensions arose between Venezuela and Guyana after the dispatch of the HMS trendship to Guyana and Venezuelan troops conducting military exercises on the border with Guyana. The United States secretly sent a Secretary of Defense to Georgetown to establish a strong military partnership for the defense of that country. On Monday, January 8, Daniel Erickson, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for the Western Hemisphere of the United States, began a visit to Guyana, an ally in the region amid growing territorial disputes with Venezuela over the Essequibo territory, rich in oil. The high-ranking U.S. official arrived in Georgetown for meetings with representatives of the Guyanese government the Guyana Defense Forces, and members of the Caribbean community. The U.S. Embassy in Georgetown highlighted the importance of the visit, emphasizing the bilateral defense and security partnership. The statement mentioned support for regional stability and also underscored the commitment to the short-term growth of Guyana's defense forces, as well as the long-term modernization of its defense institution. In other words, the United States will expand the defense forces of the Guyanese Army to defend the Essequibo territory. While the United States emphasizes the bilateral partnership, Venezuelan dictator Nicolas Maduro accused Guyana of acting on orders from foreigners. Maduro criticized the neighboring country, stating that Guyana acts like an old British colony, now under foreign influence. Ericsson's arrival comes a month after military exercises conducted by the United States in Guyana, previously considered a provocation by Venezuela. Tensions in the region increased significantly after the mobilization of more than 5,600 Venezuelan troops in response to the arrival of a British warship, the HMS Trent, designated for defense activities about 11 days ago. Despite commitments from both parties to avoid an escalation of hostilities, the territorial dispute has intensified since the discovery of oil reserves in 2015. The last quarter of last year saw Guyana granting oil licenses in disputed waters, further deepening tension. Venezuela bases its claim on 17th century treaties, arguing that Essequibo is part of its territory. The country appeals to the 1966 Geneva Agreement, which established the basis for a negotiated solution, and annulled the 1899 decision. Erickson's visit reinforces the direct involvement of the United States in the complex geopolitical dynamics of the region between Guyana and Venezuela, seeking a solution to the controversy involving strategic and natural resource interests worth billions of dollars. In other words, my friends, this American visit to Guyana is part of a military partnership that could lead the United States to arm and equip the entire Guyanese Defense Army, even indicating a new military base in that region. As we know, the Guyanese army will be expanded, even with the population being much smaller than Venezuela's. The army will have sufficient defense capabilities, and more information may arise at any time, which I will bring to you in videos here on the channel. If you don't want to miss any updates, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell, and leave your comments, as they are very important.